In this video, I'm going to set up single number reach, which is where um, you can have your desk phone and your cell phone both ring at the same time. First thing you need to do is enable the end user. So I will go to user management, end user, and find the user. Click on the user profile, and we need to scroll down to mobility information, enable mobility. I already have it checked, but you'll need to make sure that that is checked and then click save. After that, we need to make the remote destination profile. So we'll go to device, device settings, remote destination profile. We'll click add new. I'll call this John Doe RDP. And under user ID, select the user. And if you hadn't enabled mobility, that's where you would have gotten an error. I'm just going to leave this as default. And then for a calling search space, um, you need to make sure you choose something that can reach um, outbound call outbound numbers. So for calling search space, and then also rerouting calling search space, make sure it's something that can reach outbound numbers. And I'm just going to go ahead and click save on that. And then I'm going to add the directory number that um, we want to ring simultaneously. So for this case, that is 4837. And I'm just going to, this can all be basically left how it is. Um, you can just copy whatever it is on the directory number that you want this set up for. Um, I don't think this really matters a whole lot though. Okay, so that is now saved. Now I need to go back to the device. So if you look up at the top right corner, you'll see that related links are configure device John Doe RDP. So I'm going to click go. Then I'm going to add a new remote destination. And I'm going to call it John Doe RDP again. Actually, I'll call it John Doe. Then I'm going to add a destination. I'll do. So you have to make sure that you follow your dial dialing rules. So if you have to dial 9-1 to call a long distance number or 9 to get out, um, however you would dial on your phone, you need to make sure you follow those dial rules for this destination. Um, and then we can leave these all the same. And this is where you'll want to play around with the timing. Um, you can either wait a couple seconds for it to start ringing. I prefer to set this at zero. Um, and then down here as well, you can set how long it um, will ring your cell phone to avoid connecting to the phone's, the cell phone's voicemail. Um, because typically you're going to want it to connect to the voicemail for your business account, um, Cisco Unity or whatever, and not the, the personal phone um, voicemail. And then down here you can add... Um, you can set this up to turn off on the weekends. So you could do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can do all day, or you know you could set this up to go from let's say um, you can set it up however you want, but let's say eight to five. So you do eight to I think seventeen. It's in military time. Um, uh, one thing, important thing, is that tripped me up before is you need to make sure you have the correct time zone in here um, otherwise you're going to get times at <coughs> calls at uh, strange times so I'm going to go ahead and click save and I'm just going to get rid of this okay and then one more important thing make sure that you have 
this you have to check this otherwise it's not going to work as well it's another thing that tripped me up the first time i set these up so i'm going to click save again and now we should be good to test it out so i got my ip communicator and my jabber um, pulled up here's the phone number that we are having ring simultaneously so i will call that four eight three seven so right away it is ringing and then my cell phone is ringing as well and i just picked that up on my cell phone so it stopped ringing So that is that. Um, so quick review. First we had to enable it, enable mobility on the user. Right here. Then we had to create the remote destination profile. And then we had to associate the number that we want forwarded to this remote destination profile. Then we created the remote destination and we associated it with the line. And we also changed the timer information. Um, I hope this has been a helpful video. If you have any questions, please uh, uh, comment them. Um, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.